Molitva za zdravlje. Healing prayer for the healing of our body and of our soul. Lord Jesus, sometimes I'm also in the prison of this world. Sometimes even my heart is closed for you, for my beloved ones. Chain by sin. Chained by evil habits, attachments, chained in my arrogance. I do not see the way out. But in the darkness of my life, O oh Lord, you act, you work. You give me light. You desire to give me strength to stand up and go forward, to go towards you. You give me your very self in the Eucharist. Red. O Lord, grant that may recognize you in every sacrament, that I may recognize you in brothers and sisters. by the strength of the holy body and your most holy blood break all chains that distance me from you set me free from every slavery especially slavery to sin that I may also become free that in that freedom I may also praise you, exalt you, to praise you and to proclaim you and announce you to others. Although sometimes my anxiety is great Although sometimes I'm in difficult problems. Although sometimes I'm not in good health. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Although sometimes I lose will, you look at me. You hear me. You invite me. And give me strength to meet you.
Gospodine Isuse. Lord Jesus, you alone gave us an example, example of the perfect love, example of how can man find a meaning he completely surrenders to God. Your example was followed by your disciples. And they followed your example until the end, until their death. And even in their death, they remained faithful to you. Both Peter and Paul did not deny you, none of them. When they ought to know the strength of love which forgives. When they got to know you, who are life. That is where they got to know that they were also sent. But you also invite them and that all their strength is only in you. You're with us today as well. You nourish us. And you sent us as well to spread completely the good news so that all peoples may hear it. so that we may attract others to you, you who are love, that they may also be saved for your kingdom. O Lord, grant that by the example of St. Peter and Paul, we may also become your disciples. That yearning to get to know you may grow all the more within us. And once we get to know you, that we may proclaim you to glorify you through our lives. Lord Jesus, you direct your word to us as well today, your gospel, the good news. You also ask us today, who is the Son of God? You also ask me today, who am I? Lord 
O Lord, give me strength that I, like Peter, may recognize you and to manifest that you are Christ, the Son of the living God. That you are the only one who have saved all, who has saved all of us. And that on us today, you're building your church. The gift of the kingdom of heaven you entrusted to us today as well. And by this mission that you gave to Peter, today you're sending your priests that in your name they may absolve people from sins, so that in your name they may prepare your people for the kingdom of heaven. Lord Jesus, grant that by celebrating holy sacraments, I also may become a rock for your church. And that dining, eating your blood, your flesh and drinking your blood, I may also become part of the heavenly temple of your body. so that in such a way I may strengthen my soul that I may confess faith in you to everyone that I may say to everyone that you are Christ the Savior Christ, I pray to you today as well for the healing of my soul and of my body. I pray to you today as well to purify my heart that I could become worthy of you, so that I could become your disciple, and I could proclaim you to everyone. May the example of St. Peter and Paul serve us that in this proclamation we do not profess that only with our words but with our actions as well with our entire living and that in death by your cross we may also become participants of salvation, participants of your kingdom, of your glorified church.
May all of you, your families and those you pray for, be blessed by Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.